get a load of this. I got a dear John letter from my bookie. He cut off my credit. <laughs> How unpatriotic can you get? <laughs> hey, you guys, look at this clipping my mother sent me. Chagrin Falls Navy man named heir to an estate. Heir to an estate? Oh, come on, you're putting us on. Ensign Charles Parker, now stationed in the Pacific Theater, <clears throat> has been named an heir in the will of his late great Aunt Anastasia Terwilliger. Not a boy, Mr. Parker. That's what I call news. Boy, poor Andy. She was always so kind to me. Used to take me bird watching. Taught me how to twitter like a gray speckled metal thrush. <laughs> That's enough with the birds. What's with the cash? Yeah, come on. Yeah, let me see that. Let me see that. Come on. It says here, Mr. Willager's estate is estimated to be over one million dollars. Chuck Mainside just called. Those prop shafts are all set. You take Tinker and go over and pick them up, will you? Skip. Watch your tongue. That's no way to talk to a financial giant. <laughs> what are you guys talking about, anyway? Skip, we got a millionaire in our midst. The Parker's got more lettuce than you can shake a rabbit at. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah, but it doesn't say here how many people you're going to have to share the loot with. No, oh, uh, there won't be any other heirs to the state. Um, Annie only talked to me and her canary. We just like a roo Listen, don't go counting your polo ponies until you see the will. <laughs> at any rate, listen, get over to Taratoop and pick up those prop shafts, will you? Yeah, but prop shafts, yeah. All right. Boy, a million dollars. And listen, you knuckleheads, will you stop filling his head full of that millionaire jazz? Let's just wait and see what happens with... Mr. Parker, watch out! Have I heard you? Chuck, Chuck, wait, Chuck, no! No, 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 Chuck! Boy, a million dollars. I get cold and clammy just thinking about it. <laughs> Sir. You wouldn't happen to have $20,000 stashed away somewhere, would you? No, I wouldn't think you would. Anybody with that kind of money is back home wheeling and dealing while I'm out here fighting this non-profit war. Oh, but, sir, money isn't everything. It won't buy happiness. No, but it could buy me a lieutenant who doesn't make me sick to my stomach. <laughs> this, this is the opportunity of a lifetime right here. Look at this. Valuable New Caledonia waterfront property for sale. Must sacrifice $20,000. Contact Fair Pierre, New Mia Building. $20,000 is a lot of money, sir. That's peanuts. It's peanuts. $20,000. Why, after the war, do you realize, Carpenter, that that property could be worth, could be worth a million? Oh, I tell you right now, I would sell my soul for $20,000. And that's a fair price, sir. Very fair. Would you? <laughs> I'm oh, but, telling you, why did I ever read that blasted ad in the first place? But, sir, I just vacuumed the well, floor. just vacuumed the floor again. If I but, can't enjoy this war, why should you? You know, now that I'm a millionaire, I think I should have a classier name. Something like Charles Parker Feller or J.P. Diamond Parker. Watch out, sir! See you at 11 o'clock! Oh, it's a good thing you're so chubby. Oh, kill her. Help, oh, kill her. How is it? Attempt to kill me like that. You're trying to run me over. Twice? Yes, sir. What time's the court martial, sir? I don't want to be marked tardy. Marked tardy? You simple thing. He's simple. He's simple. There's not going to be any court martial. You're going to be shipped off to the Aleutians, and I'm not going to wait for a court martial. You think I'm going to give you a chance to try and kill me again? You're going to the Aleutians on the next plane. The illusions? Oh, gee, Captain. Don't you watch it. Mm -hmm. start packing right now before I change my mind, and I start to strangle you right on the spot. Get out of here. Hey, it's here. A letter from Mr. Parker from the Chagrin Falls National Bank. Geronimo! Hey, that ought to 
to cheer you up. Boy, how about that? Hey, look, it's from the trust department. Now you'll know how much you're getting, Chuck. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, boy, Skip, I'm too nervous. You better read it. All right. Yeah. Uh, dear Ensign Charles Parker, uh, sir, enclosed, find a copy of the last will and testament of Anastasia Terwilliger, uh, as admitted to probate on May 5, 1942. You will note that your great aunt bequeathed a thousand dollars to her canary, Pretty Boy. Pretty Boy? A lousy bird gets a thousand bucks? Ah, that means Mr. P's going to get a bucket full. Go I down. I down. Now, one million two hundred thousand dollars to the Friends of Hummingbirds Foundation. Yeah. <laughs> Will you? And, oh, and to you, Mr. Parker, she bequeaths her bird watches encyclopedia, her binoculars... And her prize stuffed owl. <laughs> That's all he gets? A stuffed owl? That's it. Oh, she cut him off without a penny. Boy, she really gave you the bird. <laughs> oh, no, wait a minute, you guys. It was a nifty stuffed owl. Well, I used to take it nighty night. Broke me a thumb sucking. <laughs> thumb rat. The illusions and no money. Mr. Parker hadn't been dreaming about being a millionaire. He never would have clobbered the captain. All right, all right. That's enough. What's the matter? Hey, what's the matter with me? Of course, of course. <laughs> That's it. You got an idea, Skip? Look, I, I was just thinking that... Well, look, if old Ledbottom found out that Chuck was a millionaire, he'd never ship him out. <laughs> well, he'd keep him around like a... Well, like a lost bank account. <laughs> the bird's got all the dough. Do you mean we fake it? Where there's a will, there's a way. There's a way. Of course. Come here, fellas. Look, here's what we're going to do. Hi, Captain. Hello, Copy. Be careful. If you're here to beg for mercy for that flea brain Parker, you can just save the strain on your kneecaps because I've got his orders right no, here. No, sir. No, sir. No, I just, I just brought him the rest of his paper, sir. Yes, sir, before you ship him out. Oh? Oh, thank you, Mikhail. I'll tell you, you... You don't seem very upset about losing your little nitwit buddy. I thought you'd be in tears by this time. Oh, no, sir. Look. Parker made a boo-boo and he ought to pay for it. Yes, sir. <laughs> what is this newspaper clipping? What is that? How uh, that? I don't know, sir. It was along with the rest of Parker's paper, sir. Well, I know you're busy, so I'll be buzzing along. Bye-bye, sir. Four, three, two, one. Miguel! <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that dunce Parker being an heir? Why, he's worth well over one million dollars. <laughs> a lot of good as millions will do him in the illusions, sir. Who hmm? said he's going to the illusions? Well, you... Now, why would a big-hearted real estate investor like me send a nice, young, rich lad like that to the illusions? <laughs> sir, you just had Stop orders cut for him to, to go to the... stir up trouble. <laughs> That boy is worth over a million dollars. He'd certainly be willing to lend his CO a paltry twenty thousand. <laughs> yes, so, sir. But, but I don't understand. Oh, you already up, shut up, comb your hair, blow your nose. We are going to pay a social call on our wealthy young ensign. <laughs> sir, mm -hmm. why are you so cross with me? Because I hate poor people. <laughs> <laughs> see Parker. Whom? Parker. You mean Charles Beaumont Parker III. And whom shall I say is calling? Uh, uh, Captain Wallace. You know who I am, Gruber. Get out of my place. Sleeve 35. Sleeve 35. Uh, Mr. Parker, do you prefer your collars in mink or chinchilla? Oh, uh, well, why don't we make the collars in mink and it'll keep me cozy in the snow and make the lining chinchilla. Uh, uh, wait until I announce you. Excuse me, sir. Now, latest stock market quotation, sir. Canadian can up two and three eighths. National consolidated up two point five. Algerian wool down two point three. Oh, gee, they need help, don't they? I'll tell you. Buy a thousand shares, take it out of petty cash. Oh, sir, you are of good heart, sir. Oh, they'll be thrilled. <laughs> announce me, announce me, please. I say, what's all that commotion over there? 
Captain Binghamton. Yes. Good of you to drop in. Uh, sir, these royal ventures have to be signed immediately, sir. And... Mm -mm. Ow. <laughs> yes, uh... Uh, you'll have to forgive me, sir. You know, busy, busy, busy. <laughs> oh, I hope you don't mind my stealing Quentin and the boys from you. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That's perfectly all right. Be my guest. <laughs> oh, as a matter of fact, I brought some champagne over to toast your good fortune. Hmm. Domestic. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you'll have to forgive Quentin, sir. Uh, he's such a perfectionist. <laughs> oh, say, uh, Chuck. Uh, Chuck, why don't you call me Wally? Wally? Uh, Wally? <laughs> Good, Wally. Yeah, well, why don't you just call me uh, Mr. Park? Uh, please, sir, I have to make this other measurement here. <laughs> Ooh, I'm terribly sorry. Wally, is that... <laughs> All right. No, I'm done. Lunch is served! Uh, your rich sir. Uh, Yes. The apple is not done. Take it away. Immediately, immediately, immediately. Oh, sorry, sir. Forgive me, sir. It won't happen again, sir. <laughs> Boy, you think you could find a ship to whip up a simple little snack. Yes, but you think so. Uh, listen, uh, Mr. Parker, I know how busy you are, but I've been thinking and dabbling in a little real estate. Ah, uh, sir, <laughs> these uh, stock transfers have to be signed immediately, sir. All sir. finished, Mr. Parker. We'll um, have the uniforms ready the first thing in the good, morning. Good. Oh, don't forget the Vicuna pajamas. Yes, that's right. It gets awful cold up there in the Aleutians. The Aleutians? Who said anything about sending this boy to the Aleutians? Well, Captain, you gave the order, sir. Well, well, what kind of a rabble rouser spreading a story like that? Or would I send this boy to the Aleutians? This boy is almost like a son to me. Oh. He's like my own flesh and money. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, well, uh, I suppose if you insist, I could carry on business affairs from here. Oh, uh, <laughs> splendid. And speaking of your business affairs, uh, do you suppose you and I could get together on a little deal, say a little real estate investment? <clears throat> Well, now, I see why not, Wally. Anything you want. Anything at all. Now, uh, you'll have to excuse me now, sir. Uh, yes, sir, but Mr. Parker has to have his massage now, you see. Uh, that uh, all that signing of checks can tighten up a man. Uh, shall I say to the door, sir? Yes, yes sir. Get your hands off of me, you Please, sir, sir. Don't you realize how hard it is to get help with a war run? <laughs> oh, I'm, uh, you're right, you're right. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Lester. A thousand pardons. As a matter of fact, 20,000 pardons. <laughs> Bye, Chuck. Let's have lunch. <laughs> All right. I can't help. Look at this. <laughs> Magnifique, eh, mon capitaine? Ah, uh, so good to be true. <laughs> Can't believe it's mine. But it is yours, mon ami. Just as soon as you give me the $20,000. <laughs> yes, of course. The, oh, the, the 20 the money. There is a problem, monsieur. <laughs> oh, no, 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 there's no problem. It's just that I, I don't happen to have the money with me. But uh, don't worry, you, you can trust me. <laughs> but of course, mon ami. <laughs> now, just sign this IOU to show your good faith, s'il vous plaît. I owe you? Well, uh, is, that, is that necessary that I... It merely states that you will pay Pierre $20,000 upon demand. Well, I'm... Why not? After all, I've got uh, millions behind me. <laughs> uh, uh, Chuck, I, I, I'm sorry to burst in unannounced like this. I know how busy you are, but I have just made the most marvelous business deal. Will you look at that beautiful acreage? Oh, say... That is good. Yeah, uh -huh. pretty clouds, too. Yes, Skip pretty clouds. <laughs> <laughs> yes, such a card, Chucky. I'm going to understand. You see, this is the property that you and I bought. Oh. You remember, you gave me the green light. You said anything I want. What? What do you mean, is that, 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 Captain, this is no time to do... Now, Quentin, I know how busy you are running Chuck's financial empire, so if you'll just write me a check for $20,000, i will be on my way. $20,000? Uh, you want me to make you a check for $20,000? Oh, I got my... Get the big eggs, get the big eggs. You clumsy... Uh, uh, oh. It was very clumsy of me that when you... Uh, <laughs> look at those silly fingers. They're all bent. I have to carry the check in my other hand now. <laughs> Mr. Parker! Oh, my goodness, this cable! I don't know how it slipped by me, sir. What cable, man? What are you babbling about? What is I, 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 sir, sir, Mr. Parker, brace yourself. It's from your lawyers. The bottom just fell out of Canadian can. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're wiped out. <laughs> wiped out? I'm wiped out. Wiped out. I heard. I heard. Well, that's the way it goes, Wally. Easy come, easy go. Hey, you couldn't have blown a whole million. Let's get over to the radio shack. We'll come to your bank. The bank? But, but I don't have anything in the bank. Well, will you sell a steamship, hawk an oil well. I need that money quick. <laughs> Captain, please, easy does it. We need these papers for, for the bankruptcy proceedings. Bankruptcy? <laughs> oh, can't be that bad. There's got to be something left here. Look at there. How did this mantle a machine gun? Yeah. Look at this. It's Gruber's laundry list. Hey, look at this. This is a bit... A bingo card. <laughs> you planned this whole thing just to get this baboon off the hook from going to the illusion. No, 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 no. It's true, isn't it? Your aunt didn't leave you a nickel, did she? A nickel? No, she didn't leave you a nickel. Oh, you left me a stuffed owl. Stuffed owl. Purchase stuff him one of these days. I owe you for $20,000. And if I don't come up with the money tomorrow, Fair Pierre is going to turn that note over to Admiral well, Rogers. But no, no, easy does it, Captain. Maybe there's some way out. I'm some way out. But a dastardly deed. Shocking pink sport cars. Mink butlers. Captain, that's it. That's your way out. I know the way out. It's through that door. No, 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 no. No, you just gave me an idea of how we can take that Frenchman right out from under your IOU, sir. Oh, sir, uh, I'd like permission to inhale. Yes, sir. I'm not going to fall for any more of your tricks, Mikhail. No, 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 no. This can get you all off the hook for all that dough, sir. Yes, sir. It's your only chance. Remember Admiral Rogers. I, uh... Oh, Mikhail, I don't know what this scheme is all about, but it better work. <laughs> well, here we are, Fair. The money is in my office. I'll get it. I'll pay you off. You can be on your way. Wonderful, mon ami, because I must leave Australia immediately. Ah, what is that? Hmm? That, 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 that's a yacht. And that's a group of those uh, international playboys. You never know where they're going to turn up. Well, they are international playboys, all right. And look at that yacht. Sacre bleu. Uh, no, no, that's the SS Fort Knox. <laughs> and they are a delightful bunch to know. I'd introduce you if you weren't in such a rush. Uh, well, now, who is in a rush? I have plenty of time. <laughs> the way you dance, honey. <laughs> Remind me to name an oil well after you. <laughs> I just, I just hope we get, I get back to the hospital on time. I go on duty at 1300. Yeah, yeah, all right, quit making like a nurse then and start like Zsa, Zsa. Come on, come on. Yeah, woo! Well done, God. Now look who's here. Hiya, cat, you old maverick. <laughs> Ow. Uh, my, he's a strong one, isn't he? <laughs> uh, Mr. McHale, uh, I'd like to have you meet a friend of mine. This is Monsieur Pierre. Oh, it is a great pleasure, Monsieur McHale. Well, Thanks. now, you just call me Gusher. Like an oil gusher. You get it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, tycoons, we all got company. Hi, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Sit down. You're just in time. We're sending to Rome for pizza. <laughs> yeah, I want you to meet all these boys. Now, they, this year, Maverick's name is uh, Senor Ramon Velasquez, and he's heir to the Castilian soap fortune. <laughs> Buenos dias, senor. Anytime you get dirty, just give me the buzz. See, si, see. Si. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, that's soapy for you. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, and this year, chap's name is uh, uh, Prince Fozzi Sahib. Greetings, and uh, perhaps you would like me to autograph. A ruby for you? I blur. Yeah, well, you, you can say that again, yes. <laughs> oh, our dear old friend here, Diamond Jim, a silver gold, yes. Made his fortune a selling a, a war surplus battleships. But the uh, war is not over. <laughs> Why wait till the last minute? <laughs> Excuse me, uh, how about some drinks, chaps? Well, it's bubbly time. Yeah. Hey, uh, honey. Hey, uh, honey. <laughs> Uh, he's only got three million, so they're making him work his way across. <laughs> I'm surprised he doesn't have a lot more. Uh, yeah, you can say that again, bingy old doggy. <laughs> oh, tell you what we're going to do now. Hi-ho, everybody. 
Say, listen, why don't we choose up sides and play a few chuckers? <laughs> you know, be careful, you Claude. Have ever heard of Oh, Pierre. Pierre, I want you to meet Claude, yes. <laughs> and his full name is uh, Claude Chumley and uh, Chatsworth. Yeah, the fourth. Claude. <laughs> hey, listen, haven't I seen you somewhere before? Didn't I ski over you at St. Moret? No, I don't think so, monsieur. <laughs> Monsieur Pierre is in real estate. He just sold me a very choice piece of waterfront property in New Mayer. Oh, why, oh, heavens to Dunn and Bradstreet. Well, I've been looking for a little place like this to tether my polo ponies. <laughs> well, you can't have this place. This place is sold. I bought it for $20,000. Wait, 20000 Well, down in Texas, they'd string you up for cheating a man like that. Oh, yeah, that's why I pay more than I for a good haircut. <laughs> hey, listen, why don't we go down the saloon and talk this over, and I'll make you out a check for, oh, 50000 $50,000? You can't do it. I already bought it, and a deal is a deal. Ah, uh, ha, ha. But you have not paid me yet. You gave me just an IOU, see? An IOU? <laughs> oh, worthless, worthless. Just worthless. Here, that takes care of your old IOU. Now, uh, look, why don't we, uh, <clears throat> buzz off? So long, cheat. <laughs> oh, here, hold my pull of my way. Oh, check out. I'll take it. Yes, that's with... Yeah, this place is getting to be a drag. Yes, we're doing Tahiti at four for cocktails. You wouldn't be, Captain. What a con artist. Uh, well, it was rather good, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, you sure this is going to work. Oh, positive, positive. Once Chomley's check bounces, all you have to do is tell Pierre we were sunk at sea. No, <laughs> no. We are sunk. Look what's coming. I had my, had, I had my Rogers. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> All my 32 years in the Navy, I have... Binghamton, what are you running here, a PT base or a Section 8 ward? <laughs> and that boat. You start talking, cowboy. I already told him that, McKenna. <laughs> well, one of you better start explaining. Oh, say, bingy old boob, I just brought the property in... Oh. Uh, permission to go on sick call, sir. You're going on sick call. You're all going on sick call. Wait a minute. What is he doing on that boat? Grab him! Don't let that man get away. No, Admiral, you, you know that man? Know him, Fair Pierre. He tried to sell me some phony real estate in Honolulu. Hey, how about that, Bingy? You weren't the only sucker. <laughs> well, now, isn't that a darn shame, Captain? <laughs> the Admiral spoiled our surprise. Surprise? What surprise? But, 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 but you see, uh, Admiral, um, it was all the Captain's idea, yes. Uh, uh, he knew that Pierre was in the area, and so uh, all the get-up and the yachts and, and, and everything was all his idea, yes. And, uh, well... It, it worked. We caught the swindler. That's it. That's what he said, Admiral. <laughs> you mean you did all of this just to... Well, why didn't somebody say so in the first place? Skip find it at one o'clock. Hey, Admiral, hit the shiller. Governor, take that prisoner. Come on, you tight nose. Let's get this sit duck out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get in line. Somebody help me with this bag mitten net. Darn the bad mitten net! Full speed ahead! Come on, you millionaires! Get that device to shoot! Seriously, pull my mallet. Yeah. Oh, what a war! You and your poisonous little stunt. You almost cost me my commission. Oh, no, no, no. How easy does it, Captain? <laughs> you know, if you hadn't been so greedy, you'd have never gotten mixed up with this fair Pierre. <laughs> Captain Skipper, my inheritance just arrived. Oh, was it a mistake? What do you got there, boy? Stocks? Bonds? Wait a minute. Let me see them. Hey! Get that moth-eating vulture out of here. Well, it's not a vulture, sir. It's an owl. And I'm sure Annie would have wanted you to have it. No, no, I know why. I, too, I'm allergic to feathers. I'm going to kill this. Come on, Chuck. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on Captain. You, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, why is it me? Why is it always... <laughs> what are you staring at? <laughs>